For level five of the side scroller project, we're going to work with player controls. Basically, we're going to make it so that the up arrow makes the player jump. And it says there are three parts to jumping. Jump up when a key is pressed, go down when you're high enough, and don't fall through the ground. So under do this, first we're going to find the code comment jumping. That's going to be right here in line 35. Then it says to add a conditional that checks whether the player has pressed the up key. So we're going to find in the comments where it says if the player presses the up arrow, start moving up. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag an if statement to go under that comment in line 41. From here, we're going to click on the world menu, and then we're going to drag the key down to go into the small space in the if block. And it should automatically say if the up key is down. So then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that the sprites velocity dot y moves up. And remember, we use um, velocity y because y controls the movement going up and down. So for example, right now my y is at 326. If I were to move upward, you'll see that it is subtracting. So keep that in mind. We're going to add the sprite velocity y block here. We're going to put the name of our sprite. And then to make it move up, we're going to put in a negative number such as negative 10. Um, if that's too fast for you or too slow for you, you can always go ahead and edit that. Then it says to test your code to see whether the sprite goes up when you press the up arrow. So anyway, if I were going to go ahead and click on run, then my sprite should move upward when I hit the up arrow. Okay, so then from that point, the next part of the directions says to add a conditional that uses the sprite's Y property to check whether it is high enough. So in other words, eventually gravity is going to make it move back down. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and hit run and you want to pay attention to where your sprites y is when you want it to move down so i'm just going to draw a little arrow here under show grid and then from here i'm going to move my pointer let's just say for example that i want my sprite to start moving downward when it hits maybe we'll say the bottom of this little circle in the flower. So that being said, if I put my pointer there, you'll see that it has a Y position of 94. So I'm gonna remember that, the Y of 94. This is where I want to start moving downwards. I'm just going to write that down so I remember that. And you can always write that down on a piece of paper. Anyway, so from that point, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the control menu. You're gonna add an if statement that says, if the player reaches the top of the jump, start moving down. That's gonna go in line 47. Then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to um, click on math and you're gonna say if the Y position is less than 94, that's when you're going to make it move down. So we're gonna add the less than operator, type in spongebob.y and then we'll say less than 94. And then you'll click on the sprites menu and you're going to add um, a velocity Y block. And again, you're gonna type in SpongeBob velocity Y or whatever the name of your character is. To make it move down at the same speed that it moved up, you'll use a positive number. So for example, I did negative 10, I'm gonna do positive 10. And what that's going to do is it's going to make SpongeBob move downward once it hits that spot that I just pointed to. So if I hit reset and run, and I hit the up arrow, SpongeBob moves up and then he moves down. However, he falls through the ground. So that's where the third part of our directions comes in handy. So it says that we need to add a conditional to check whether the sprite is low enough on the screen to be on the ground. If it is far enough down the screen, then we stop the sprite. So essentially what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to say once the sprite is at its Y position on the ground, we're going to set its velocity to zero so that it no longer moves up or down. Um, so that being said, you want to pay attention to whatever number you have in your Y position for your sprite. So you'll notice right here that we have a Y position of 357 for when the sprite is on the ground. So in other words, when it looks like what we see here, 357 is the ground. So I'm going to need to keep that in mind. So then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll back downward. Um, and I'm going to find the comment that says, if the player has reached the ground, stop moving down. Click on control. We're gonna add an if statement to go in line 38. Then from here, you're gonna click on math. And basically we're gonna say, um, once the Y position is greater than the, we'll say as close to the ground as you can be without actually being on the ground. So spongebob.y 
is greater than 356. Now, the way I got 356 is because remember, up at the top, SpongeBob's Y was set to 357. So basically what I'm doing is I'm making it so that once the SpongeBob.Y is at the um, lowest point in the air, then we're going to stop the um, velocity. So if SpongeBob.Y is equal to 356, in other words, one less than the ground, then we're going to add a Sprite's velocity Y block to go inside that if statement. We're gonna say the name of the Sprite and then set the velocity.y to zero. Then it says to test to make sure the sprite does not go through the ground at the end of the jump. So again, if I hit reset and run, there should be the three parts now. I move up, gravity hits, I move down, I stop. So up, gravity, moves down, stop. Um, and then finally, the last thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're only able to jump when you're on the ground because the way it is right now, you can see how I'm hitting the up arrow repeatedly and I'm able to completely bypass any of the obstacles and we don't want that to happen. So then the last part that we're going to do is we're going to click on control and we're gonna scroll down to where it has the if key down up. We're gonna move a second if statement inside so that the two are nested within each other. And what that's going to do is it's going to make it so that you have to have two conditions to jump. We're gonna click on math and then what we're going to do is we're gonna use the um, equality operator we're going to say if the up key is down and if SpongeBob's Y position is equal to 357, then we're going to make him jump. However, if these two conditions are not true, so in other words, if the up key is not down and SpongeBob is not on the ground, then the up arrow won't work. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and hit reset and run. So now if I jump, SpongeBob moves up, gravity takes over, moves down. However, I can't cheat the game by hitting the up arrow once I'm already in the air.